<laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome to another Sunday Live in the Kitchen with me, Paul. Me, Jason. Together, those vegan guys. <laughs> we have a system and a routine. You messed with it. I like messing with things. I can't see. You do, we do. Sometimes I feel really scripted at the beginning. I know. I get you. I get you. And I, I agree with you. I like to be fluid and missent. Missent. I get you. And I agree with you. I do. Um. So... Hello, my loves. Hello, my beauts. Uh, hello, forks and peeps. Um, I should have that brighter light. Are they brighter? Is yeah, it brighter? It looks it. I can swap them round if you want. Whilst you're saying hello to everybody. I'm, I'm older. 36 in the house already. It's a relaxed Sunday cook in the kitchen with those vegan guys. Welcome one and all. Welcome our wonderful mods. In the house, Will and Chris, did you say not so not so long back that uh, one of you was playing No Man's Sky on Steam? Am I correct? Did you? Did one of you say that? And if you did, well, I'll wait for your reply. Uh, welcome, Nikki, and thank you so much for uh, becoming a channel member. Uh, our patrons and our channel members. Um, are the reason that we've vlogged every day for the last year. Uh, apart from the last, we've had a break recently, haven't we? Just to kind of yeah find our feet again. Yeah, but we've still got this huge list of stuff we want to and need to do. We've got a whole bunch of stuff we want to do for the channel um, and for all you wonderful people. But also, we are mindful. That the last few months we felt a little bit like we've been on autopilot um so we've just took our foot off the accelerator a little bit just a little bit um but yeah loads to look forward to in the near future will and chris add us on um steam as friends we are oldham lads with a z at the end all one word oldham lads old ham lads and that, because then Jason can invite you to TVG2. Oh, it's this gorgeous world we've found. It's so gay. Just because it's really fancy. And there's no nasty critters. There's no nasty critters, but it's not like there's rainbows everywhere. Do you know what I mean? That kind of is. It's very colourful and gorgeous. Anywho, for the vast majority of people who are here... Uh, who don't know anything about No Man's Sky or computer games, um, we are today uh, elevating. We're taking a classic that we did last time. We talked about it, didn't we? Yes. Well, well last time we did a Sunday Live in the Kitchen, uh, we did uh, plain old chocolate cupcakes. I say plain old chocolate cupcakes. They were actually very delicious. They were. They were a gorgeous treat. Um, and... Uh, after we'd had them, both of us said, ooh, wouldn't they be nice with, like, perhaps we could pimp them up a bit. So today, because we're doing 12 cupcakes, we're going to do them in threes, and we're going to do three with peanut butter, three with coconut, three with hazelnut chocolate spread, and three with blueberries. Just to try them out. It's exciting. And see if they work. Because when all said and done, you know, if you can knock something up in the kitchen and it's easy enough for even me to make, then it saves you going and spending what can sometimes be five, six quid yeah. for, for like four uh, fancy muffins. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing, isn't it? I mean, it's like, I know that there's there are some great cakes out there vegan-wise, but they get a bit pricey. You know, like three quid for four. It can be. Or whatever. Yeah. It, it, you're making 12 with this batch, and it's uh, it's really quite easy to make. Uh, before we get on with everything, has everybody had a chance to download uh, their first copy of that vegan zine? Because uh, it's out, and our lovely contributors have shared their stories. We've got um, a lovely uh, write-up about a small holding and all the animals on it. Mm. Um, we've got uh, uh, Ethereal and the Elevated, uh, uh, 
putting that trans flag out there and talking about her vegan story. We've got Angarad and her mom and their story. We've got Alan and Annika and their vegan story. There's a crossword puzzle, a word search, a recipe, useful <laughs> links. So we'd love it if you downloaded it anyway. And uh, if you want to be involved, please um, submit something. Uh, I'm not really editing. Uh, I'm just skimming through the articles to make sure there's nothing offensive in them. Oh, and there's a little great piece by Zoe as well about um, sustainability. Mm. Yeah, and it'll be every three months. Every three months. So the next edition won't be until the summer. Um, but it was just, it's a way for us, you know, us that have a creative arm, whether it be photography or poetry or pictures or whatever it may be, and we want to share it and there's no other avenue. Now there is, and it's ours. Yes. Not ours. Ours. Everyone in this community. Yes. Absolutely. So please, yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't forget about that. Download it, support it, share it, send it to your friends. Do all kinds of things. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm just reading what people are eating or have been making or cooking or are eating, getting stuff ready to eat later on. Joan has just made an aubergine potato and mushroom curry earlier. Joan, did you put a picture of that in that, in that vegan group? I think she might have done, you know. It looked fit if that were that. And again, we were skimming this morning because we've been down to the allotment. I've only been roped into joining the bloody committee, haven't I? How, why does this not surprise me? They got me when I went in the shop this morning. It's all these women. Women, you know I'm a push it over. They all shout at me at the same time. Paul, will you be on committee? I was like, what's the commitment? He said, not much. Volunteering shop one Sunday morning every now and again on a road to and attend meetings now and again. Well, yeah, all right. I'll be, I'll be the vegan representative. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good, isn't it? Uh, Angela, last weekend was camping in Herefordshire eating wonderful vegan food. Oh, Angela, I saw your pictures. You, uh, and yes, they made me cry. But yes, I was really happy for you. But also a little bit, oh, I wish I'd been with you. Mm. It looked beautiful. Proper beautiful. Angela shared her uh, pictures in that vegan group. That vegan group is a group on Facebook. We're very discerning over that. We're not discerning. It's just a nice place. And we try not to let things get too heated or argumentative. Or it's, ma it's mainly just a place where people share lovely stuff, mm -hmm. recipes and everything. It's linked in the description of every video, along with the links for our mm -hmm. merch. Uh, just to let you know, this, this particular design there's also a, a a muted version of this design with a flat earth <laughs> no <laughs> you know what i mean not a flatter not 3d like this one yes and the vegan four is more handwritten in black so there are two this one is uh vegan four two oh she bright and it was just sweatshirts and t-shirts this morning i've added tote bags mugs and vests yes. Yes, yes, yes. with this design on. So if you fancy supporting the channel, you don't want to commit to a channel membership or a Patreon, um, and you fancy wearing a bit of nice merch that clearly states you are vegan for all of these things on here. Yes. And as summer is supposed to be arriving Pretty soon, uh, I have bought uh, one of our new vests. With one of my famous things when I'm shopping, Go vegan. It'd be rude not to. So there you go. Nice vest to wear down at the allotment. And I can rock the vegan message. Uh, Leanne says, uh, a couple of comments on the zine. A few people have already downloaded it. But Leanne says, uh, the high price on vegan cakes as compared to non-vegan makes me really annoyed. Yeah, I mean. Yes, indeed. And uh, yes, Angela says, yes, the zine is awesome. I know. As I, I, haven't people submitted some fantastic stuff to it? Because I'm just the guy that's putting it together, piecing it all together like a jigsaw to in ages. Uh, Don't yeah. mind that, though. Kelly, thank you, Kelly. Kelly says, that vegan zine is brilliant. There was one long article that I'm saving to read on my lunch tomorrow, but I've loved the rest. It's great. Yes, it's good stuff. And it is. It's nice. It's nice for people to be able to contribute and be get creative, have a voice, 
tell their story, all that stuff. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, should we get on with what people are here for? Mainly. Well, we're here. We're all here well, to chat. I and know. do stuff, I we? know. That's what we're here for. I know. Um, right. Let me get my measurements. Measurements at the ready. So, me, um, I've already done 230 millilitres of soya milk with one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I use apple cider vinegar. You can use any kind of white uh, vinegar. Don't use malted. That would just be wrong. Mm. Uh, so that's made me buttermilk, and that's in the fridge. And then uh, I suppose I better start getting the rest of the stuff together, right? Okay. I'll read a couple of comments whilst you're... Um, you do that while I measure some stuff. Getting yeah. some bits together. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh dear. It's all right, it's all right, don't panic. Uh, Megan says, uh, I used to work for a local bakery in Kansas City and I made a Buckeye cupcake, peanut butter frosting and then covered with magic shell. You're going to have to elab elaborate on that, Megan. Magic shell is... Is that that... Um... Chocolate, is that that uh, chocolate stuff that you pour on as a liquid and then it turns hard? Ah. Remember we used to have it in, uh, in, in the UK. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And Rebo, Rebo Vegan Rock, Vegans Rock says, I made it to a live, yay! Well, thank you for being here. Hi! <laughs> Hi, darling. Ah, Lauren says ice magic. Is that what it used to be called over here? I think so, yeah. Ah, Flanny says having a brinner once again tonight. Absolutely love them, which explains why we went out for another breakfast this morning in the wonderful Manchester sunshine. It's been nice today, hasn't it? It has. Tell them what we had for breakfast, Jay. Oh, we had um, we had those pret uh, croissants done in the air fryer. Um, a half a slice of jam on toast each. Some strawberries, some blueberries, and some uh, blackberries. Yeah. Yeah. It was gorgeous. It really was. 25 of that, 140 of that. Stop turning off. Nice one, Megan. Thank you for that. Sugar. Megan says, yes, Paul, you can make it with chocolate chips and very little coconut oil melted in the microwave. Ah. Oh, nice one, Alan. That's lovely. Alan says uh, ours is the only YouTuber merch that they've ever bought. Well, that's we feel that's that's massive. That's brilliant, and thank you. Thank you very much. It does uh, it does help, like you wouldn't believe, or perhaps you wouldn't mm -hmm. believe. Um, what do I get? To <laughs> that's a great name. Hog hugging vegan. Good day from Australia. Good day indeed, and thank you for joining us. That's a great name. Love that. Annika, thank you for popping on. Hi, Paul and Jason. Come say hello before work. Just had chips and gravy for lunch. Sounds lovely. Right. Oh, we've got 108 in the house. If you're enjoying the live stream, um, you know what I'm going to ask. Please do consider giving us a thumbs up. Um, it's the easiest way you can help the channel. Uh, it really helps. It helps uh, get the word out there and uh, it helps YouTube to uh, kind of look down from on high and go, oh, uh, they're doing something. Maybe we'll share it with those people over there. Right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to start putting the dry ingredients together, Romers. Brilliant. Well, let me know if you need me to help with anything at any point, of course. There we go. Uh, 125 grams of plain flour. It just wants literally shaking into flour. Okay. Michael, you are absolutely careful, right. Careful. Oh, just more gently. Well, it, I've just been coming over here. Ah. So. I'll concentrate. You are absolutely right, Michael. Very multinational stream. And thank you for joining us, good sir. Into my 90 millilitres of oil, 90 millilitres of oil, I'm going to put one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, I think that's, 
That's all good. Is it one and a half? Yes. Oh, Jacqueline, that's lovely. Thank you so much. That's such a nice thing to say, and it's a nice thing to read as well. You two are my very first YouTube membership. Never thought about doing this before. Love you guys. Oh, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Uh, what else do I need to do, Jay? Jay! What are you asking me Jay. for? Jay! I'm just here as the passenger. You, all these people, 107 in the house, I'm sure most of you know as well. I'm here. What am I? Sous chef? Yeah. Kitchen porter? Sous chef. I like that. Sous chef. Annika, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I saw the picture of your jam tart earlier in uh, that vegan group. Oh, yeah. Uh, they looked very, very nice, very tasty. Right, into my flour, I'm going to put three quarters of a teaspoon of bicarb. This. Oh. There's not much to see. There's not much going on, really. It's just, you know, dry ingredients. Three quarters of a teaspoon of bicarb. And half a teaspoon of baking powder. Uh, Lewis, uh, you can also uh, download our free ebook uh, off the website, or it's in linked in most of it's linked in all the descriptions uh, on our videos. Free ebook, you can get all of that. There's a great brownie recipe in there as well. Extract plain flour, and then finally, 45 grams of cocoa powder. Kelly, thank you for joining us. We love our lives as well. We love doing the uh, the live streams once a week. Just keeping things different, mixing things up. We've even talked, by the way, about the possibility of bringing the Friday night quiz back um, that we started last year when we went into kind of like the proper lockdown. Uh, lockdown. So now and again, randomly out of nowhere, a Friday night quiz might just pop up. Right, I'm going to start incorporating the dry ingredients all together. So that's 45 grams of cocoa powder. Okay. Uh, 125 grams of plain flour, flour, three quarters of a teaspoon bicarb soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to use pink Himalayan and guess. Nice. Uh, and then. That's all right. I'm in the way. I'm in the way. Buttermilk. Can you see how uh, thick that's gone? That's soya milk that's just been left with the vinegar in it. Nice. Well, not that nice, actually, but uh, it's part of the process, isn't it? Get the sugar in there. And what's my fancy multicolored whisk? gonna incorporate those dry ingredients together thusly so it all looks uniform yes then I'm going to add my oil Ninety milliliters of oil with one and a half teaspoons of uh, vanilla extract. Ah, of course. Can't forget the vanilla extract. And if you're doing oil in a measuring jug, don't forget to scrape it out so you don't lose any of your ingredient. Same with this, actually. Now, I'm going to add the buttermilk. But I also want to do the same thing. I want to scrape down the inside of the jug so I'm not losing any of the ingredients. Yes. Because it's quite thick. You see, it's quite viscous. Mm hmm Yeah, you want to get it all out now, yeah. Oh, Annika, thank you so much. 
Yes, today is, uh, of course, the end to Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, but, of course, it should be a priority for everybody every week. So hopefully, if nothing else, it raises awareness. It gets you thinking about your own self-care. Uh, the Vegan Queens have done like a mental health special. You did a mental health special on Monday, didn't you? I did. Um, for the channel, it's something that we're all, I think, more conscious and aware of now than ever before. You okay with that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Muddy Paws, thank you. Um, I love Jeff and Babs as well. Uh, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Um, and if anybody hasn't had a chance yet, um, when we finish the live stream, uh, have a quick look at the uh, two-minute short animated short film uh, that we uploaded as a little surprise last night. It's only two minutes or two minutes, 17 seconds uh, to be precise. Uh, and it's just a little bit of fun uh, that we hope you enjoy. Ooh, that didn't take you long. You see that? Smells gorgeous. That took me twice as long last time. I'm, I'm kind of worried that I have, I've missed some. Well, just double check to make sure. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Is it Ellie? E double L E. Yeah. Um, we haven't uh, done another drive through yet, but it is on our to-do list. It's on their cards. It's probably going to be next weekend, fingers crossed. Yeah. Because um, we really enjoyed doing the last one, and we know a lot of people uh, really enjoyed watching it as well. So, uh, yeah, that is definitely on the to-do list, without a doubt. And quite a few people uh, saying, yes, please, uh, Friday Night Quiz sounds cool, Rainbow Vegans Rock, uh, Vegemet Codbod, yes, please do it. So, thank you. Yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll keep that in mind. Right. Now then. Now's the bit where we half fill. Yes. This is kind of the awkward bit then. It's slightly awkward, but I think it's going to be worth it in terms of like really taking them from being nice to being special. I wish I had a door syringe, batter syringe. It's got, it's got, they must exist. Probably. You know, so you can just squirt it and it's far easier. Annika, thank you for joining us. Take care and see you soon. So are you, yeah, you're going to just half fill them and then we'll put the, put the other stuff in. Yeah. I want to, I'm going to do this so you can see what's going on. There we go. Pretty straightforward stuff, really. <laughs> Leanne says ice cream scoop. Ah. Of course, Leanne. Of course. I ain't got one. No, we haven't had one. She's a spoon. So you get the idea. Get the idea. Half filling. Half filling them a little bit. And then we're going to put all the special stuff in. And then. And then top, finish. Top, top them up. Top them off with more cake batter. <laughs> Tricks of the trade, lol, Leanne says. Tricks of the trade. The mixture, yeah. Yeah, Joan, the mixture is lovely. But as we discovered last time, and this is kind of one of the reasons why we're doing this, we have, this Vegan Society recipe is absolutely bomb-proof. Um, it produces really, really nice, tasty, light, fluffy cup, cupcakes. Um, and so now what we're doing is seeing whether the recipe stands up to... Um, you know, incorporating other stuff. Can we elevate it? Or is it just going to make them, like, not cook properly? I predict the former as opposed to the latter based on how you've added stuff to brownies before. You know, when you're doing your brownies. Yeah. Um, I think the this will be similar and hopefully. The only ones I'm a little bit unsure about is putting the fresh blueberries in. I'm well, not sure I've whether done that with brownies. Yeah, I know, I know. Thank you, everybody, by the way, for the thumbs up. Um, that is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you. It brings us a little bit closer in terms of uh, people in the house versus thumbs up from the people in the house. Um, and before I forget, because I always like to, um, massive shout out, love and hugs to mum and dad who uh, watch nearly all of our stuff. Uh, and also a special shout out to Auntie Pearl, Colin and Brett, if you're watching. Mm.
either everybody is, I was just about to say, <laughs> I'm glad, Leanne, I'm glad you typed something then. I was just about to say either everybody's riveted with with the uh, the the mixture going in to the, uh, being poured off the spoon or uh, something had frozen with the chat. I think everybody was just riveted for a, for a moment. So I'm just going to show you. They're about half full, give or take. Charlotte, yeah, I'm going to be well ready for uh, for one taste testing a one or two of these when they're uh, when they're done. Right. Are you getting the blueberries out? I well, certainly will. I promise. Certainly will. So I'm reckoning just a kind of a small round of peanut butter, like like that. Just a little kind of um, what do they call them? It's like a quenelle, but I can't do them. Oh, nice. It's quite a bit in there. Well, look, that's what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to show. I'm going to show, folk. Do you see? Do you see? Yeah, no, it's actually more more in there than I thought, but I'm quite excited about that. Very excited about that. Oh, Alan says, uh, Paul is correct in his assumption that something to inject cream, jam, etc. into stuff does exist. We've got one. I've DM'd you a link. Thank you, Alan. Right, now I'm going to put a squirt of this nature's store hazelnut and cocoa spread in the next three. No, oh. oh, it's done. I took the lid, lid off before. It's probably just a bit tough coming out. Oh. Do you want me to do it? You manage? Rainbow Vegans Rock. I'm taking notes because I'm terrible at baking. I, I'm rubbish in the kitchen. Rubbish in the kitchen. And I, even I've managed to do cookies, brownies, and I could probably do these. Uh -huh. Well, these ones are going to be sick. In a good way, of course. Of course. Nomskis! Deneen, you may have arrived at the perfect moment as we're pimping up these, uh, these lovely muffins. Right. Muffins? Cupcakes? Cupcakes. Muff cupcakes. Desiccated coconut in three. I'm going to put quite a... Oh, you are, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going for a bounty cupcake. Oh. <laughs> Vegan something. Hazelnut and chocolate looks tough to get out, but worth the effort. Yes. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Guess who didn't put his phone on silent? Guess again. who didn't put his phone onto silent? The amateur in the house. Why don't you, instead of sitting there like little Maxie Matthew, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you show everyone Betty? Bring her over. I will. I will. You just pop in what I'm two? I'm just popping blueberries in now. Well, just to hold. Yeah, do that for a sec. These are quite big ones, so big. Oh, let's go for the big ones, don't we? Couple of few blueberries. Three in each, I think. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may we introduce you to Betty. Betty was our first sweet million tomato plant to be <laughs> repotted. She's taking the piss. Look at her. She's gone berserk. Look at her. She's like three foot tall. She's gone berserk. She's very, very... She's going down to greenhouse soon. She's very slim, though. Very slim. Isn't she? Very slight. You being sizist? No, I'm just saying, you know. Right. Four blueberries in each of the blueberry cupcakes. 
four. Four. Oh, I think you might have overloaded these. But what do I know? I know nothing. Look. Look at this. Oh, actually, that looks really nice. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Right, and now, Kelly says, Betty is living her best life. <laughs> she, she really is. She's loving it. So true. Hey, you lot. Wait till those of you that are following our allotment vlogs, wait till you see tomorrow's. Just, just you wait till you see tomorrow's. You're going to be so happy. We are. And that's all you'll hear from me on that matter. Yes, and more. So it's just a case of now covering up whatever we've put in with a bit more of the batter so that the top batter sticks to the bottom batter, hopefully, and whatever we've put in the middle stays in the middle. Mmm, batter. Mmm. <sighs> <laughs> Buff Bar, thank you for joining us and popping in and saying hi from New Jersey, saying a brief hello and then outside to do some garden yard work. Good on you, girl. It's finally got oh, warm. Boy. Finally got them warm here. Enjoy all, enjoying all your gardening vlogs. Are they? Are them? Well, thank you. Thank you for popping in. And yes, take advantage of the good weather. Uh, we we have to do where we are here. Look at this. It is like paradise. Oh, thank you, Leanne. Thank you for the reminder. It's always appreciated. What? Uh, just the, the thumbs up reminder. Oh. It's nice. always nice. <laughs> Hog hugging vegan. Honestly, um, it's really coming along, but we're gonna we're gonna save it, uh, save it as a little surprise uh for tomorrow. Um, but you know what we said the other day is any kind the good thing about the allotment, and this isn't really spoiling anything. The good thing about the allotment is there's always something progressing. And when I think most of us as human beings naturally will respond to that. Mm. If something's progressing and developing, you're feeling like, you know, things are happening and it motivates you. Once you, It makes you want to carry on doing more. Uh, and that's always been the case right from the start down at the allotment. That's a brilliant thing. So, yeah. And the shed door, well, I'll say no more. Do you know what I mean? Postcards are plenty. Thank you, Deneen. Shed door is a big part of the reason I'm in love with the place. Yeah. To be honest with you. Uh, Kelly says, uh, Paul, did you say this recipe is on the Vegan Society website? I've not baked for ages, but I need to make these. Yes, love, and it's linked in the description below. Uh, I made sure I did that. It, it's, it's also on the last video. I mean, honestly, these are gorgeous, just as plain chocolate cupcakes. Yeah. But that's why we wanted to see if we could elevate them, make our own fancy little cakes. So we're not paying four quid at the supermarket. And we've got a nice little treat here. Spot on. Oh, thank you, Jackie. See, Jackie is a prime example, uh, again, of how many people have we come across over the last few months that started growing. It's so rewarding, satisfying. Jackie says, I've started growing my own veg in my garden. Muffins look good. Thank you, Jackie. Where will they come out of the oven? I think these are going to be epic. I'm particularly, I'll be honest with you, I'm particularly looking forward to the peanut butter ones. I'm not going to lie. I'm also mindful when we started this whole process that we've got odd numbers of each one. Mm -hmm. which is not ideal for us too, is it? But then we do share. We're good at sharing. Right, they're ready to go in. Fabulous. Last little lucky before they go in the oven. Nice and simple. So they're all covered. All topped up. All the toppings have been covered completely with the rest of the batter. And now they go in for, I think it's around 20 minutes. At what temperature? Uh, 180. 180. Which is uh, 346, 350 for our American pals. Oh, Buff Bar, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank By you. By the way, the recipes on the Vegan Society website are all in uh, metric and non metric. Uh, so, you know, if you're an ANSYS kind of person, uh, that's all there as well. I just need to 
So that's because it's otherwise it's gonna be a book to wash after that. <laughs> Flandy says, them blueberries is great. They're quite big. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty big, weren't they? And Lauren the Hermitage says, don't dangle your dingles in that mix, Paul. I think you just managed about to get away with it, didn't you? Yes. Thank goodness. That is rude. Just rude, Leanne. Wow. Leanne says, did you see Wicked Kitchen Cupcakes were £3.50 for six? Now it's four, but the same price. Rude. That is rude. See, you don't have to buy them, though, mate. You're old. These are dead simple. Dead simple. And a free recipe from the Vegan Society website that you can pimp up in whatever way you want. Angela says, um, my favourite allotment vlog was one of the earlier ones when you had a, a stove mishap. My gas stove blew up last Saturday. Lucky to be here, to be honest. It, uh, they're scary, aren't they? That one's set on fire completely. Somebody said it, 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 it might have been because the gas was cold, but we've camped for years and mm. that has never happened. No, I just think it was a, I think it was just a slightly dodgy gas bottle myself. I, no, I think it was the cooker. Oh, the, the actual cooker yeah, itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, you might have been right, actually, yeah. Right, just let me check. Never mind no fact matching fingerprinting moron. <laughs> Technology. 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 Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, that freaked you out. That really freaked me out then, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Sandra says, I started growing veg for the first time last year. But it's great now that I'm following you guys as I get a lot of enjoyment watching your journey. Well, that's lovely. Thank you, Sandra. Um, yeah, we said right from the start with our allotment vlogs, they're not how-to guides. We're, uh, we're, on a, we're on an experimental journey with the allotment. But so far, so good, we feel. Right. Oh, nice one, Joan. Fingers crossed for you that it's, um, it's as quick as it can be. Uh, we were quite lucky uh, in getting our name down. I think it was about eight months, seven or eight months, which is really quick uh, to get a plot um, here in, in England, uh, as far as I'm aware. Some people wait like a couple of years. Uh, they've, they've got their names on a list. Oh, you, that's Everyone. ridiculous, Samantha. Cup of tea at my local park, £2.50 plus another 40 pence for almond milk. Didn't bother. Not surprised. Don't blame you. That's silly. Ridiculous. Silly money. Oh, that's great, Will and Chris. Nice one. Will and Chris say they've planted runner beans today. Never grown out before. So excited to see how it turns out. Brilliant. Yeah, our runner beans are getting a bit... Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to give too don't much away. Say anything, I'm, I know I'm sorry. Anything else. I'm sorry. It's because we've been down earlier today, so it's we've been down earlier today, but we went and filmed for several hours yesterday. Yes. Yes, yes, um, yes. And you'll see all that in tomorrow's uh, in tomorrow's vlog. Yeah. So was you right? Uh, twenty minutes in the oven. Yeah. yeah. So about five to cool. Uh, Eighteen to twenty minutes, uh, but that's quite a keen oven. It is. Um, it is. It is a keen, keen oven. I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward to when they're done, as always. Do you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to trying them all and seeing which is the best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed, indeed. So this is a little opportunity now for um, you know 15 minutes or so whilst the whilst the uh, the baking is happening. We can chat, we can catch up, we can answer any questions you might have. And we could just read about how you're doing, what you've been up to. How have things been over the last uh, week since our last live stream for you all? Because that's always interesting to find out and read a little bit about what's going on in your world as well. Oh, I've not heard of that. Have you heard of that? The woman in the window. Yeah. Is it an horror? I think, I'm sure we've watched it. Sorry, I'll, I'll repeat that. Is it a horror? 
We have one, well, one film recommendation, uh, or at least the one that I can think of. We watched a really good one the other night, and it really surprised us. Um, <laughs> um, the Woman in the Window, is that that one where we've seen one called something similar, Jason, about a couple who are look, watching another couple across the road and it was a really poignant short mm. it was a short film it was like 20 minutes i don't think that's it no um because kelly's just said i started the woman in the window last night but couldn't get into it it's a thriller ah. psychological thriller thank you both thank you yeah, i'm a little bit 50 50 with like psychological thrillers but yeah we watched on amazon prime the other night um a film that was really a little bit of a hidden gem uh, at first light cracking film if you like sci-fi and good music in a film it's brilliant it's got a really good soundtrack and really good actors great story great special effects um but i think it's a bit of a hidden gem uh, i don't think it's one of them that's kind of had loads of publicity around it so yeah at first sight on Amazon Prime, absolutely belting uh, little. Uh, I'd say independent. It probably isn't, but it's got a, it's got the feel of being like a little bit more of an independent style mm -hmm. film. But the acting, stellar cast, and the music and the cast, yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, brilliant cast, really, really good. <laughs> Star Cradle. Eats a toasted bagel. Nice. To the tune of Star Maker. I hope you enjoyed that Star, Star Cradle. It was specifically for you. Oh, that's nice. Sweet Pepper, that's a lovely thing to read. Um, Sweet Pepper says, I love your Sunday streams. Such a nice community interaction. For me, it's like waking up and having coffee with friends. It's, it's like having it's like having a, a meet-up with our friends too. Well, it is. That's exactly what it is, in mm -hmm. fact. Meeting up with us pals. And, you know, I want to go second-hand shopping this week. Yeah. I'm sick of staying in this house now. Well, why not? And... I'm just a bit worried with this Indian variant and it being so close in Bolton. Yeah, Bolton but... On the damn road. You've got to assume that, you know... Mind you, I'm still going to wear my mask until I've had my uh, second, second vaccination. Yeah, yeah. And which apparently is that you can now have it eight, eight weeks after your first. So I'm like, NHS, ring me, please. Text me again. So I can change my date from June 13th and have it now. But June 13th is not that far off, is it really? No, no, it isn't. It isn't. No, it's not at first sight. It's at first light. At first light. At first yes. light. Sorry if I said, did I say sight? No. no. At first light. Yeah, very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, Emma, yes. Uh, Emma's talk talking about uh, giving us a heads up. Um, that she's seen the vegan bounty in Asda today. It's not universal, unfortunately, though. That's the only problem with all supermarkets, sadly. They're just... Can you lean off the table? Sorry. And not touch the mouse while you know. It's true. It's constantly juttering. Oh, right. Constantly. Okay. I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. Um, where was I? Yeah, it's not universal, is it, with um, vegan bounties? But, thankfully... Um, Thanks to, uh, it was Alan and Annika that sent us, wasn't it? Um, Very unusual, the vegan bounty. It wasn't what I was expecting. It's nice. Mm. I did, would buy again. Yes. <laughs> um, even though I didn't buy this time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Would buy if I saw, but it was very different because it's basically, it's like his chocolate bar, obviously. Like, a, you know, in pieces. Um, but rather than it being the kind of bounty coconut, like fondant, if you like, with shredded coconut. It's large chunks of toasted coconut. Now that it's beautiful in its own way, but it's very different than a bounty. I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. I was, I don't, I, we kind of said this and it's not really, um, it's not really a criticism, 
But I was like, well, if they can do a vegan bounty bar like that, why why not just veganize the existing bounty? Why not just make an actual vegan version of your classic bounty bar? So I think they've missed a trick myself, but that's just me. That's just me. A uh, woman in the window stars Amy Adams yeah. from Enchanted Looks. Good to me. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, quite a few positive comments for uh, Woman in the Window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Just make sure we've not missed anything. Um, Jones got a second jab, 10th of June. Good, good. We're getting there, aren't we? We're getting there slowly but surely. Fingers crossed, one and all. As I've said throughout, cautiously optimistic about things. <laughs> Leanne says, I think I'll be late next time. I may get a song. <laughs> You're deserving of a song, Leanne. Always, to be fair. All our mods are. What's that, you mods? Uh, yes, going back to what we were saying before about growing stuff and the magic of growing stuff. Jackie says, so many of my colleagues are now growing due to lockdown last year, but we all agree that it's good for your mental health and well-being. Mine has helped me so many times when things got on top of me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very... As you'll see in tomorrow's allotment vlog, there are many reasons behind how I feel when I'm down there. Um, but I cannot deny how I feel when I'm down there. So watch tomorrow's vlog to find out <laughs> what the reasons are. Yes. A big part of it is you guys, because you're all there with us. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, uh, but it's, yeah. Just an amazing place to be. Well, and Chris, have you added us on Steam? Don't they, forget, all them lads. They might I, have, I want to invite them to that of the world and show them how colourful and bright and fancy it is. They might want to build there. They may. They may. However, just, you need to know that it's called TBG2. Yes. The TBG one's horrible. It's a cold, foul, icy shit place. Uh, Will and Chris said, yes, I'm called Pilfus. Excellent. I should point out as well, we don't... Uh, online game with anybody um but for me myself personally i'm not opposed to playing online games i just kind of if i was ever going to do it i'd want to do it with people that i'm kind of connected to and i know rather than just getting a barrage of abuse off a bunch of 14 year olds that would just ruin my entire gaming experience so yeah john that's gorgeous please add two characters based on us two <laughs> that's amazing Yes, please do. Immortalising someone else's book. That's amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah. Totally. Totally do that. Uh, cupcakes are not ready yet, I don't think. Uh, oh. Only about... Um, Five minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Can just, just starting to smell them. Somebody asked if we could smell them before. Oh, a nice one. It's got cross-play. Yeah. Yeah, I might actually um, phone uh, Stuart, uh, unless you're there lurking. Mr. Crowther, and if you are, we've got a day for you this week. <laughs> Do you fancy meeting in Oldham? Going around some second hand shops having a coffee because I'm done me with this lockdown shit. I wear my mask and use my hand sanitizer. I'm not daft, but I want to go out. I don't blame I've already said to Jason I need to start going barbers every two weeks again now, anyway, because look, I only have this done. Um, oh, actually, it's almost two weeks. It'll be two weeks on Tuesday. Yeah, but as we've said before, your hair grows incredibly quickly. I know. It really does grow quick. But I'm a bit gutted about it because look at all this salt and pepper. You know, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish I was growing my hair just so I could have it all salt and pepper. But I'll stick with mermaid blue. Uh, Angharad had, had, uh, says, we have just had our second vaccine. That's brilliant. Lots of people either had their second or it is very, very near. It's imminent. 
Um, so that's brilliant um, because when all said and done, going back to just briefly what we were saying before, you've got to kind of trust the science, haven't you? And the science currently is saying um, that the current vaccines, as in today, the news today here in the UK, I can only speak for the UK, is that the scientists, the science is confident um, in terms of the vaccine working with the variants. So we have to, yeah, let's just keep everything crossed. The vegan vlogger, that's good. It's good to read. I've turned them round so they haven't gone in. They haven't gone in with peanut butter on. They'll come out with peanut butter on the right now. Okay. Will they? Yeah, peanut butter on the right. So it'll be peanut butter, chocolate spread, coconut blueberries, peanut butter, chocolate spread, coconut blueberries. Okay. <laughs> me trying to work it out my brain all oh now uh, I'm going to address this in a vlog at some point as well uh, but we've had a right malarkey picking up a parcel oh yes that was sent through parcel force uh, if you send anything through parcel force we that it's going to apparently this item was sent from Montreal at the beginning of April. So if that was you, I'm so sorry it's taken so long. Parcel force are shit. Yeah. Well, they don't. They do only let us know just over a week ago that they were holding the parcel for us. They don't deliver to PO boxes. So whoever took your money should be sacked because it clearly says on it PO box mm -hmm. 787. Yes. They don't deliver to PO boxes. Oh, it's been a right palaver. So they sent a letter to they sent a letter to our PO box telling us that they had a parcel for us and we had to go and collect it a, a good few miles down the road. Yeah, so it was a palaver, wasn't it? It was a bit of a palaver. It was, and one of the first things we both kind of thought and said... I don't know said, where it's from yet, by the way, it's in all... I'm just kind of glad, obviously. I mean, we don't want people having any issues or any trouble sending us stuff. Um, but I'm just glad that it's been received and we've got it finally after, you know, quite a long period of time. Um, that it's sort of been batting around in transit, as it were, or stored somewhere. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm intrigued by uh, Joan's uh, book now. I'm intrigued by it. Right. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, nice one, DJ Paul. Thank you. Oh yes, nice one, Lauren. Thank you for the uh, for the recommendation. That's a good idea. Yeah. Wow. Uh, just like the best places to get um, boxes for sending stuff in the post is probably the post office. They sell like those different size boxes and stuff, don't they? Yeah. Are they done? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. I thought you were just checking them. They don't take long. They don't, do they? At all. Like you say, on average, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's been maybe slightly, a little bit more. I'll tell you what, that silicone gets so hot. Oh, nice one, Joan. It's called The Wind Doesn't Lie, which is the title of a song in the book. Ooh. Can you see them all right? Can you see them okay? They look good. There they are. So these are the peanut butter? No. No? Oh. Yes. Yes? I think so. They're going to take, they're going to need a little while to cool out. Although that looks like coconut, doesn't it? Uh, you, I don't know. You put them in the oven and you took them out of the oven. Do we know what we should have done? Should have had like little, little things like down at the allotment. Yeah, I think that's peanut butter. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> Rebecca says, ooh, look at the cakes. <laughs> so nice. If you could smell this. Mmm, delightful. Delightful. <laughs> I think that's I think that's acceptable. <laughs> hey, you know what? You, you mods are, are like not to sixty in two seconds flat. They're, even, not, they're not that. I've got to try and help you, and then you don't even need my help. Why am I even bothering? Why don't, am I? Don't bother. No I'm more. not going to bother no more. I just want you all to have another little look down here at what we can see. How fancy they are. I think, I think these are the peanut butter ones, but I don't know why that's got this weird. Annie, that's another great idea, yeah. Um, although I think depending on where you are and what type of supermarket, I think some are a bit easier to get hold of than others now. I remember back in the day in like Aldi, they always used to have like loads of boxes on the on the shelf on the window that people could use and they've sort of disappeared over the last couple of years. And I don't think that's just a COVID thing. I think it was before that. Thank you, Star Cradle. Yeah, Paul put a lot of work into the ebook, um, but it's a lot of people have, have, have messaged us and said how appreciative they are and how it's really helped them. Um, and as we've often said on the channel, um, and I'll paraphrase Paul, it's the kind of book that we wish we'd have had when we went vegan. And that's kind of, you know, the angle that it's coming from is just let's get all the basics down. Let's help you out as much as we can. Let's point in the right di direction of other people uh, who've inspired us. And let's try some really great recipes. Ooh. Ooh. That's the peanut butter cupcake. That's filthy. Oh, it smells. It smells. Um, it smells savoury. Mm. Does yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll leave that to cool for a minute, and then we'll try it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. So no. they're all going to have worked, really. Peanut butter, chocolate spread, coconut, blueberries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Leanne has got it sussed. She says, see, Paul's not daft. Three of each, one to test and one each for later. You're not daft. See if it was like planned or something. You know stuff. Stuff I've never said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold this up again. I want to see if you can get yeah. it. No, you hold it up. I'm going to oh. bring it close to the, closer to the camera. I want to see if I can get it. There we go. I'm getting a bit close. Oh, thing is, it's it's indistinguishable, isn't it? You couldn't necessarily, by looking at it, figure out that it was peanut butter. Anyway, let's bring that back and get this refocused. There we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Manual focus lens. On fold webcam. Which is a good thing, actually, because when you're using a webcam, you're mainly in one fixed place. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. The, the vegan vlogger remind me of Reese's. Yeah, Reese's Pieces. Chocolate and peanut butter. I mean, it's, it's tried and tested, isn't it, really, to be fair? <laughs> oh, that one's a bit messy. The chocolate. Ooh. In a good way, though. Gooey. 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 Like, it's almost fondant -y. Like a fond chocolate fondant. Tissues, yes. D, that is a good idea, actually. I'm going to take D's advice. Preemptively, whilst Paul is licking his fingers. Right. Do you want to try? Peanut butter one? Yeah. Of course I do. I think my name is Jason Doesn't Try Anything Bromley. Yeah? Careful. Oh. Is that all right, temperature-wise? Because you Ooh. just go for a huge mouthful. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> mm. mm. 
Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. <clears throat> that is crazy good. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm hmm. Mm. Now, look at all this though. I think the fact that we used crunchy peanut butter, it may seem like a trivial thing, but the textural aspect adds to the whole eating experience. Crunchy peanut butter in the middle of there with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'll use um, I'll use a word that Steve nineteen eighty nine would use and uses quite often. Thirst provoking. Decadent. <laughs> yeah, decadent. Guys, you should definitely make these. Mm. And if you're not into the fillings, just make the plain ones because it's such a good recipe and it's worked every time without fail. <laughs> Yeah, you got to try them. Um, I think I think we're all in agreement. Right, I'm trying this one. <laughs> it's the chocolate hazelnut spread. Angela says, um, my mum is very intrigued with the food and said she loves Paul's smell. Uh, when he looks at the cupcakes, I think she means smile. Long. <laughs> nice. Mmm. This is the chocolate spread one, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. But they're so delicious warm. Oh! Mmm. Mm. Oh! Epic. Epic. Hmm. Briggs says, Paul, have you ever tried freezing cooked chickpeas? Have you ever, you've never had really a need to cook, to freeze cooked chickpeas, have you? Uh, no, not that I recall. I usually use them up pretty quick. Mm hmm So much I do with chickpeas now. Deneen, yeah, absolutely. It's like I said, it's tried and tested, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, chocolate this, and peanut butter. This is the one I'm most excited about because I've never done this with these. Is this the coconut one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I imagine it's going to be pretty coconutty because you put quite a lot of desiccated coconut in there. So, yeah, I sure did. <laughs> It does actually start cradle. They are pretty good, D. Orgasmic they are, cakes. They are very good. Mm. Very, very good. Coconut. See how it's just mixed in there. Oh, my God, that's not so good. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of coconut in there, isn't there? <clears throat> I mean, it's nice. You're not a massive coconut fan, though, are you? I kind of... Mm. I kind of feel like it needs more. I'm quite surprised at that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice. It is nice. And also, it's it's a nice departure from the others. To be honest with you. Not as sweet. <clears throat> I think what would work better is if you mixed a little desiccated coconut mm -hmm. with a little bit of soya milk or other plant milk and a little bit of sugar. Just a little bit to make it a wet thing. Oh, okay. Rather than a dry thing. And then put a heat teaspoon of that in. And then your chocolate batter on top. That might give more of that bounty feel. Yeah. The moistness. I, I understand that. Yeah. 
So good though, really nice. Very nice. Like I said, I'm just surprised because you did you didn't scrimp on the um on the desk. My favourite so right? far are the peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm quite excited for the blueberry to be honest though, because I think it's gonna be if it's anything like the brownies and having those little blueberry pops mm -hmm. uh in the brownies. Well let's do it. Fantastic. You wanna see us try them all, don't you? Oh, you know what? Thanks everyone for um, for the thumbs up because we are we're rapidly approaching that tipping point on the scales where where everything matches up nice and evenly. We've got 142 in the house, 126 thumbs up. So thank you to you all uh, for 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 the support uh, and helping us out with those uh, YouTube robots as we refer to them. <laughs> Star Cradle, haha! <laughs> Paul's reaction to Jason saying that more coconut is needed. Next thing you know, he might be asking for more mushrooms. <laughs> Blueberries. Yeah, Lauren said, yeah, I was kind of thinking that as well as the um, mixing the coconut with the chalky spread mm. for more moisture. And it'd be easy-ish to do, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like just having a separate batch that's just coconut and chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Shall we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready? This one might be quite hot because of the blueberries, because they're, they're like a little parcel of unpoppable heat. This is a legitimate Tammy Tap to test the temperature. This is a legitimate one. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little pop of fruit in there so you don't feel quite so guilty. There go. Oh, that might be my favourite. It's a tough one between that and the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They're all gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They're all absolutely gorgeous. I'd like to try them all cold. And not in any way interfered with the um, like the texture or the cooking. No, no. The innards, the cooking of the innards. So we have discovered that you can make these cupcakes with peanut butter centers, chocolate spread centers, blueberry centers, and coconut. Phenomenal. Yeah. So that's all right. They're amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we said we wanted to elevate the Vegan Society uh, classic recipe. We wanted to show you all how you could do it. Um, and yeah, this is how you this is how you take this to the next level. Yeah, I would I would say blueberry peanut butter, coconut chocolate spread in that order for me. I like them all. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I like them all. Top notch. Well done, Mister. Well done. Roaring success, I would say. Roaring success. <laughs> Oh, Charlotte, that's lovely. Thank you. Really do love you guys. Like, don't know what I would uh, do without all of your wonderful, all of you wonderful people. That's yeah. nice. It's a wonderful community, Charlotte, as we've said before. Um, and it's it's one of the great things about being able to do this um, over the last, particularly the last sort of 18 months, two years or so, is just kind of seeing the community grow, uh, people helping each other out where they can. Um, it's proper nice. It is really nice. Should I shift this out of the way? And if you're into cakes, um, you might want to go and watch uh, Anne Garrett and her mum unboxing from the vegan cakery yesterday. I have never seen so much cake in my life in one bag. Apparently, you can freeze them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, were, they looked gorgeous. All of them did, though. Every single yeah. one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one of them, isn't it? I suppose the moral of the story, if there is a moral, is sometimes if you're a bit flush and you fancy treating yourself and not having any hard work or any pots to do, then you treat yourself to something oh, fancy. Absolutely. But what I'm saying is you should treat yourself more and it doesn't always have to cost. Yes. Like, we we still have a takeaway, even though I'm a very proficient cook and I love to cook. Mm -hmm. We still have a takeaway now and again, as you've seen on the uh, on the channel. I'll still buy cakes in boxes. Yeah. But I would much rather make them. Because mm -hmm. I can make them 
exactly how we like them. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what's important. And it's, it's 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 whatever floats your boat in terms of flavours. I think we've kind of definitely with ours today, we've leaned towards the classics, haven't we, in terms of the combinations. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, you could get freaky with it if you wanted to. You know, you could put popping candy in there if popping candy is even vegan, I don't know, but Kenchi. Oh, come on. I wasn't saying getting freaky in that respect. Well, you used the word freaky. You took it too far. I went there. It's horrible. I'll go there. I've, I've actually come to the conclusion, a uh, definite conclusion now, that I do like the kimchi, but only with very specific uh, food groups and meals. Just if any of you wanted to know that, now you know. There you go. Rainbow Vegan, I think, honestly, I think treats are essential. Now, honestly, now and again, maybe once a month, sometimes less regular, sometimes more regular, I'll just say to Jason, I don't want to cook mm -hmm. tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to cook. And we'll spend 30 quid on a takeaway. And my brain will be saying, that's four days shopping there, Paul. And then I'm like, you're having a break. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your treat. And then I enjoy my treat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's, that's how it should be, I think. Uh, spiritual warrior of Oz, you guys are so spoilt in England. We are so be far behind you here in Oz. You know, so many people say that, um, spiritual warrior of Oz. Um, and yeah, I would tend to agree. Um, having connected with a lot of people all over the world um, of late, it seems like in England and the UK is, um, is really leading the charge. Uh, and I think, to be honest as well, one of the things I was thinking the other, the other day is... Um, you know, we should we should be mindful that wherever possible to support supermarket own brand uh, vegan products as well as, um, you know, because often I think we lean towards like the big brands, the big names, um, you know, the ones that we recognize. And actually like Sainsbury's, it's not that new now, but Sainsbury's brought out their own brand uh, pepperoni, like fake pepperoni pizza. And it's like three fifty, And it's amazing. Um, and, you know, Tesco's own stuff, all, all the supermarkets that are doing their own brand stuff um, that's often a little bit cheaper as well. It's, it's all good stuff, a lot of it. I've just posted a little uh, link to um, uh, that came from space. Oh. Uh, Jeff and Babs, Jason's little project that's kept him sane for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Now and again, as some of you will be aware, I like to have a little side project on the go. This has been the little side project um, over the last few weeks. The last one was um, Stranded Vegan. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to think for a second then. Stranded Vegan, uh, which is, yeah, uh, that was the last little project. Uh, do you like sauerkraut, you've been asked? Yes. Yes. In, uh, you know. Uh, Ryan says, are you looking forward to vegan camp out? Yes. Yes. I'm still not 100% confident it's going to go ahead. And that's not being alarmist or, or a defeatist or any of that. That's just paying attention to what's going on in the news mm -hmm. of late. Paying attention to this Indian variant because Boris has made it very clear. We're coming out of the strict lockdown, but it's up to you guys. And if you start getting lax now, we'll end up back where we were. Mm -hmm. So I'm just a bit, because it's still, a, you know, a couple of months off in it. So I'm just, I, I, I would love for everything to be fine and for it to go ahead and us be there and have a wonderful time. And I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, hope that happens. But I'm reserving my confidence on that. I'm like 80%. I'm like 80%, I think everything's going to be fine and it'll go ahead and it'll be a, an awesome time had by all. Um, but yeah, there's a 20% of in my head of doubt that I'm like, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got to just gotta wait and see, haven't we? Yeah, but yeah. nice one, Ryan. Nice one, yeah. And you know what? Just because I don't think I have before, because um, I see a lot of the stuff that Ryan posts on social media. Well done, good sir, on all the progress that you've made over the last uh, the last year or so. Just with everything in terms of you know um, your health and fitness journey as a whole. Because um, I've not said that before, so just while it's in my head and I'm thinking about it, well done. And from me. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To all of that. Oh, there's no Bangkok, Karen. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I bet it is. Oh, yeah. is it? Is that where you are, Karen? Are you in Thailand? Clues in the name. Yeah, I know, but I do, do, is people can be born somewhere and then move somewhere else. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you, he, he, um, he's not vegan, though. We watch a guy um, called Mark Wiens. W-I-E-N-S, Mark Wiens. Um, and he does um, food uh, vlogs all over Thailand. Such incredible places he goes to oh, all yeah. these little villages and everything with the big like uh orchards growing stuff yeah. and they just pick it and cook it like I say he's not vegan so you've got to see past that but um uh it's all kind of really um traditional mm. thai food yeah um she is yeah yeah but some of it is um some of it is uh vegan it's a great channel. Yeah. Is it? Oh, she watches him. Ah, yeah, well, there you yeah, go. Yeah, we love him. There you go. We love him. I love the fact him that... his wife and Babby. The places that I have seen where there's, like, orchards and loads of fruit and vegetables growing, what I've really enjoyed to see is that there's some kind of kind of community. Well, the community surrounds it, obviously. Um, but, sorry, someone's knocking at the door. Who is it? Carry on. It's across the road. We're just... Somebody's just come from across the road. Oh, bless you. Cheers. Oh, training. She wanted to know if she wanted, wanted to bring our uh, laundry in. We've got laundry hung on the line outside and, and it's, it's raining. It's raining. Uh, well, you know what, Jay? Just go and get it off quick. Yeah, we well, are yeah. okay with this, aren't you? Yeah, of Yeah. Bedding. Thank you. Can't believe I didn't even think about that. Um, uh, Star Cradle, uh, thank goodness, no. No. Nobody that we uh, know, uh, close family and friends, has uh, any issue with the vaccine at all. Um, in fact, uh, most people that we know that haven't had it yet are just desperate to get it and, and um, carry on with life. Let's not forget, guys, we're not a pro-vaccine channel. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> But we both strongly believe in the vaccine for everybody because it's never just about you. It's never just about you and your feelings. Real life, this. Real life. Laundry. Um, yeah, Jay, you just wheel that this way. Our old coats in there. Yeah, well, I'll, yeah. I'll just grab them out. It's okay, I've just done that for a second. Otherwise, I don't want to put clean, damp laundry anywhere else but in the dryer. Okay. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Sorry about this. There we go. Dead simple. Whack it in the dryer. Turn the camera back around. Job's a good one. I'll finish that off in dryer later. Oh, there we go. But it's mainly dry from line. Yeah, real life happening. Right here. Uh, the Hermitage. Did you see our tomato plant before? Should we be worried about her? That's all I meant. I wasn't being uh, I wasn't being weightist towards her or anything. She's just very, very, very slim and very tall and gangly. What are we going to have for our dinner tonight? Do we even know? Nice one, Ryan. Uh, no, no, I don't know. That's the thing, Emma, it's, it is, we've all got to think about um, ourselves and each other uh, when it comes to this vaccine. It's, um, I'm really scared. Um, uh, I know that, that I want to start, see, I want you to start coming down again. Yeah. And staying so that Gemini and Miasma can get ready together the next day and, mm -hmm. and do their show. Um but my concern then is for Stuart. What if I am double vaccinated and fine, but 
I'm carrying COVID and it's not affecting me. I'm asymptomatic. And I pass it on to him in my home mm. and he gets critically ill from it. I can't take That's that. It, I it? can't take that risk. I can't. It's kind of like you can have your second vaccine. And this is kind of what the recommendations are around hugging. You know, I said something <laughs> I said something the other day in uh, in the car when we were out driving and I was like, oh, that's horrible and dystopian. I was like, I kind of said it tongue in cheek. The government said we can hug again from the 17th. Yay. The government has said we can hug again. H awful. But what they're all, what they're saying in the, the real science around it is first vaccine done, second vaccine done. Great. You know, if you're in that position, but you people still need to be getting tested as well with the uh, lateral flow tests, uh, like the 15 minute turnaround tests. The spiritual warrior. Do you agree that there is nothing quite like crawling into a bed with freshly laundered, line dried, 100% cotton bedding? We got spoiled. We went to Ibiza at some point. It was quite a long time ago. 2014. Actually. Might be, yeah. We went to Ibiza. Had a stunning holiday. Truly stunning. It was like, it was a four star hotel. It was like five. No, it was three. It was three. No, it was four. It was four. It? it was four, but it was like five. It was, yeah. it was an amazing place. 100% cotton sheets and bedding slept like a log all week. Mm -hmm. Just incredibly well. And I said to Jason when we came home, right, all the poly cotton stuff has got to go. It does make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, so now we only have three sets of 100% cotton bedding so that there's, we can always have a clean one on and there's two. It's, I'd say it's part of your self-care. It's, it, it, Absolutely. it's all part and parcel of you taking the best care of yourself that you can. Um, now I fully appreciate not everybody will necessarily respond in that way to to uh, to your bedding and getting into fresh quilt, quilt and that fresh bedding, but I suspect a lot do. Um, Lauren, uh, did you see Lauren's comment? I did, by the way? Yeah. and that's why I laugh. <clears throat> uh, and I've thought it. And do you know what the really funny part about that is? Do you know why she's gone that big? Because I kept singing a song to her. <laughs> what song was I singing to her, Lauren? The one from Little Shop of Horrors that he sings to the, the plant. I've given you plant food. I've given you dirt. You've given me nothing but heartache and hurt. Oh, plant, how I need you. Oh, plant, how you tease. Now, please, grow for me. Dance with me, Jason. No. I'm giving you southern no. exposure. So you're going to just get a copyright strike. No, not when you're singing it. Mm. If you say so. Could you, well, these aren't monetized anyway, our lives. Oh, no, they're not, are they? No, no. I've cut you back hard like I'm supposed to. You're barely alive. <laughs> she says Betty might need a muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to keep our fingers crossed. She's so big. But generally, the thing that I'm most encouraged by is the fact that most, if not all of our stuff, um, is healthy. It's fairly healthy looking, isn't it? Well, people have to watch the allotment vlog tomorrow and see. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Zip, zip my lips. Ear front. It's one of my favourite musicals. I love it. <clears throat> I don't know if you watched um, like Lime Pride, which was the last live show that the vegan queens did together after three, four months of lockdown. Safely distanced in the backyard of our very home right here. It was a strange and yet wonderful afternoon. And in the gaps where we changed our frocks, Jason sang one of his fabulous songs. So it was a full variety show for over an hour, streamed live, but we did a recorded version as well, didn't we? Yes. And you edited an it. An edited version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's really good. And uh, uh, Gemini and My Asthma sang Suddenly Seymour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a nice one, wasn't it? And it was great. It was nice. Nice to be able to do something. During all the, uh, where, you know, when, while we were all in the thick of it. You were asking as I answered. Yes, <laughs> we did. We did um, suddenly see more. And yeah. it was great. We did a couple of um, musical numbers, didn't we? We did some pop. We did some disco. Mm -hmm. We did some musical theatre. 
and we sang a beautiful song at the end. It was actually a lovely time. Um, but also pissed me off because I couldn't hug my drag daughter. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. It's still weird. I try not to think about it too much. It's just weird. It's all just weird, isn't it? All that. <clears throat> uh, Paolo uh, is uh, celebrating. Now you can come to Lisbon. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It's quite possible, uh, actually, even though in our hearts, uh, and this is not meant to offend anybody, in our hearts, Catalonia would be our go-to destination abroad. Um, we may not get to Catalonia this year, um, but we may be able to get somewhere else. You never know. D, although I would love a take out tea tonight, and bless you for saying tea, because <laughs> we're pretentious and say dinner, but around these parts, it's tea, breakfast, dinner, tea. We're like, no, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And occasionally tapper. Um the place I'd be most likely to go that I, that I feel safe ordering from, which is Lily's vegetarian in Ashton. It isn't open on Sunday, is it? No, no. Take away, so um Will and Chris have just booked a vegan camp out. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. That's awesome. I, I hope it comes up. I, I'm hoping and praying so so hard. That people get their shit together people continue to carry on getting vaccinated if they feel ill they stay away from other people until they, they feel better and we nail this we we because we need to nail this d you don't have to apologize darling that was a good suggestion I and mean, if it were open today i'd be like yeah do you have a curry <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it might just be an easy one tonight so when we've done cooking in the kitchen uh live sometimes i mean it's uh Coming up to half past four now here in uh, in the UK and England, uh, it might just be an easy an easy evening meal. You never know. Tessa, darling, thank you so 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 much. Thank you, Tess. Thank you, Tessa. Tessa. Oh, Tessa, I've been, I was I was thinking about you the other day. You know those um, the the rainbow hanging pots you bought for us. Well, they're going to be an upcoming project down at the allotment because i've been i was thinking about them the other day and i thought should i buy a curtain pole you know like a fat round curtain pole and stick it to the back of the shed that that is on the road mm -hmm. and hang them all up there so it really dresses up the kind of as you're walking towards the allotment right i was thinking about that and then i thought or should i hang them um on opposite sides on the bean supporting post. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one on this side, then one on that side, then one on this side, then one on that side, mm. all, all the way along. It's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's difficult. But they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. Or should I just have them? Because in the greenhouse, where we've got the shelves now along the one side, as you'll see in tomorrow's allotment vlog. Shh. I'm doing, no, they've already seen the shelves in last yeah. week. On on the other side, there's like a metal bar that reaches right across and rests on the kind of lips of the of the window. It's very secure. Mm -hmm. So will there be good? Because then that's up. It's not on the floor. It's not yeah. taking up any space. I know what you mean. You'll be able to <clears throat> see them through through the greenhouse yeah and so yeah i'm like what do what, 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 they've been on my mind anyway mm -hmm. i think depending on what's we'll, we'll, going in we'll come up with some we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we will uh mud thank you for joining us i have to go but i love you all stay safe it was great catching you guys oh cheers mud have a lovely uh, afternoon or evening or morning wherever you are in the world and a great uh, rest of the weekend even though there's not much left be safe out there yes lauren uh yeah she's betty's been staked already but she's already in need of one twice the length yeah she does need one uh, mm -hmm. twice the length and thankfully down at the allotment somebody left us some plank clips have you seen them lauren they're, they're like that big it's just like a plastic round clip that you clip around i'm assuming that i'll be able to use them on my peas beans and sweet corn on the um support that we've put there in that bed uh and i'll be able to use them with bamboo sticks to pin the plants to yes they're useful yeah d thank you for joining us take care
I don't know what I'm shouting for, like you're over there somewhere. <laughs> Uh, vegan something. Have you seen there is a new vegan pizza place? I've heard about this. Uh, vegan pizza place that has opened where the Earth Cafe used to be. It's a shame they've closed, but the new place does really good looking pizza. I had heard about this. That is good to know. And that is definitely something that I would uh, look into. Still get a bit of a heart twang when I think about Earth Cafe not being there. It's ridiculous yeah. how, how <clears throat> emotionally connected i feel to places my heart pangs every time we there's a building not far from where we live called higginshaw thank you blue dolphin oh bless you thank you so much there's uh, yum oh <laughs> tessa uh you're welcome and all of your ideas sound wonderful thank you for all the videos i will always look at them but even more this week i have severe kidney stones oh this infection but i'm getting better well i'm glad you're getting better tessa uh on the mend at least um, but thank you for the kind words and all of the support. Yeah, thank you, darling, so, so much. Um, speaking of sinuses, though, I'm having a rotten time with mine at the moment, Tessa, as well. Uh, my, um, well, it's rhinitis, basically. So it's massively triggered by hair fever. And um, you, 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 you do not want to see me in the morning. Yeah, you're a bit of a mess, aren't oh, you? God, it's awful. First hour of waking up, I'm just I'm a mess. All right, miss. Oh, Victoria, <clears throat> better late than never, indeed. Indeed, yes, absolutely. Glad you were you were able to join us. Although we will be wrapping things up fairly soon. Um, I will just say to you now um, that uh, the baking in the kitchen has been an outstanding success. So you might want to flick back later on, have a quick look. I can imagine being that being very, very tough, uh, Ryan. Um, men, we're our own worst enemy, aren't we, most of the time? Look how many guys said that they'd, um, uh, even when they were said, told that reducing meat could give them 10 years extra, they were like... Not well, interested. Not interested. Yeah. Like me meat. It's the ape gene. It's the thing that makes men feel superior. I man, I eat animal, animal inferior, man superior. Oh. Yeah. Men will sadly be responsible for potentially the destruction of us as a species and the planet itself. Just, Although the planet will eventually recover. Just like they have before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a bit of a downer on, isn't it? To Cyclical. It put keep, out there. Keeps happening till we get it right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Vegan Something says, Earth Cafe was a lovely place and they had a good sense of community. It makes sense to miss them. It's not just about the food. They were good people. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes, yes, yes. So true. So true. <laughs> ah, Leroy is off to go and tend to a doggo. So happy to have been able to chat and watch a live. You all have a wonderful rest of your day, night, etc. From the northeastern US to all, stay safe, peace, and uh, vegan plants, plant power. Nice one, Leroy. Cheers for that. That's lovely. Uh, Ida, I think it was rented to the family that ran the cafe by the Buddhist society, but they. The only link is that they were in the same building, yeah, uh, in the basement. I think, as far as I'm aware, everyone is feeling about coming out of lockdown. We are, I know everything's opening up from tomorrow. This is why I want to go back. Oh, bye, Leroy. Take care, Leroy. Uh, this, this is why I want to go shopping. I desperately want to go shopping, but I'm thinking everyone will be having that thought. So I'm like, mm. yeah, I'd maybe give it another week. Yeah. So, so let the silliness die down. You know, the people who are willing to queue for a, a you know, four, three hours outside Primark. I'm not into that. No, no. I don't understand that. I don't, I don't I, I, No, I do. I do. It's part of self-care. People buying themselves nice new clothes that they feel good in is a part of self-care. Having been stopped from doing that for months and months and months. I get it. I just don't understand not wearing a mask while doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. 
And I was laughing at what Ryan said before it said. I am a take care, darling, and thank you for deciding to uh, have the vaccine. We're all in this shit together. Mm -hmm. um, I want keen on idea myself because they scare me a bit of vaccines, but I had my first and now happened. So, yeah. Oh, I hope, touch wood, that I have the second and I'm fine too. Yeah, and mum and dad, my mum and dad have had both the vaccines, all good, all sorted, no issues. Um, and we're all looking forward to getting back to a little bit of normality, slowly but steadily, over the next few weeks. Yeah, I was laughing at what Ryan said before. It's safe to say I'm not exactly the most liked on site, <laughs> an authority figure and vegan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so thanks, true. vegan something. I've never heard of that uh, play. Oh, no, I, I think... Is that... Oh, I shack. Is that the place not far from Zant's? Ice Shack, it does ring a bell. It does ring a bell. Because somebody used to tell me that there was a vegan ice cream place near Zad's, so you could go to Zad's and then go there if you wanted. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't ordered from Zad's for a long time, have we? But their ordering system all went a bit confusing and I wasn't sure what was going on mm. and when they were in Oldham. And, yeah, yeah. Or sometimes they were in Oldham and I was like, mm, my dinners are sorted for tonight. You know, it was just like one day a fortnight or something, which is fair enough. You've got to go where the business is, haven't you? <laughs> just for laughing at Holly's comment about being bankrupt. We're so lucky in this neck of the woods, in the Greater Manchester area, we're so lucky for places to, um, to be able to get vegan stuff. Withington, so not far from Charlton. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's all good, isn't it? Yeah, I do. I'm, I do. Well, I was fully expecting some symptoms from the first one, to be honest. And I woke up the next morning feeling magnificent. Mm -hmm. But I think that's because I've been expecting to feel terrible. And I woke up feeling normal. So I was like, yeah, this is great. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind a couple of side effects uh, um, as long as I'm okay. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And we'll all be having boosters anyway. Let's get used to it. We'll all be having boosters every year. I would be very surprised if, if that's not the case anyway. Yeah, it's going to be like a flu, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, it's going to, you know, it's going to become a thing we have to protect ourselves from. And uh, as it mutates, uh, so will the viruses have to... Vaccines. Um, yeah, the vaccines have to adapt. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. To it. So, yeah. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, uh, Spiritual Warrior of Oz. I think it's been tough for everyone, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, and it's been spikes all over the place. You know, when one area of the world seems like it's good, another one goes absolutely out of control, and it's all, you know, it's up and down. Blessed be to you too, Spiritual Warrior of Oz. And goodbye. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Evie, no, I don't. Like I that. do, I do too. I've eaten there so many times oh. with with uh, Stuart. Yeah, great place. Yeah, cafe is brilliant. Right, we should start thinking about bringing this to a close, my 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 good sir. I think we should. Yes, um, I think we should. Uh, so, final conclusions. Uh, do you want to put your cupcake preference in an order? Um, it for me. It would be on the cupcake front, peanut butter, blueberry, chocolate, coconut. But they were all gorgeous, to be fair. Um, and you should all definitely have a go at making your own <laughs> cupcakes. Graven. Graven, you can't turn up an hour and 40 minutes after we've started streaming and expect us to do. You know, we never do much longer than this. We're usually about an hour and a half. Yeah. Just, hi. Sorry, love. <laughs> yeah, what about you? What? Preferences. I know you kind of already said it, haven't you? Has it um, changed? Still the same? Blueberry, peanut butter, coconut, chocolate spread, I think. Yeah. But I love them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just if I had to choose. And the blueberry, I only said that's my favourite because it's got a bit of fruit in it, so it doesn't feel quite so indulgent. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. 
Joan, you should definitely visit uh, us. Harmony, do check. Go to our chat. We say this so, so much. If you're ever looking for anything and you're a fan of the channel, please try our channel first. Go to the channel, use the search option and type pasta. And you'll get a, probably around seven to ten vlogs of different pasta dishes we've done. Lasagna and a creamy pasta sauce and the big pasta that I used to make and a pasta bake yeah with leftover pasta lots lots on there so much all great starting points definitely exactly kelly one of your five a day <laughs> vegan something you are making it uh, worse harmony i just i just said check the channel Seriously, most YouTubers that you probably follow, the, one of the worst things that you can say to a YouTuber is, will you do a vlog on this? And we're like, we've done it. Six of them. We've done them. You just need to search. That's all you need to do is just search for them and you'll find them. Plenty of pasta recipes on this channel. Rainbow. Plenty of tofu recipes, plenty of veg recipes, soups, pies, so much. Whatever you're looking for, search the channel. Rainbow Vegans Rock. Uh, I'll try and make the cupcakes, but I bet I mess them up. No well, chance. Be fine. No chance. You'll it's be too fine. easy. The recipe is too easy. Just follow the recipe as it's linked below. And if you do follow the recipe and you can be bothered, tag the Vegan Society and tag us. Because the Vegan Society have got the baseline, but we're the ones that have elevated, aren't we? We're the ones that have took it to the next level. In fact, just let me do this because, right. I'll go there, I'll go there, and I'll do this. So Paul's just uh, looking at our video playlist at the moment, just in case she was wondering why we're sitting here not saying anything. Yeah. So I can share a little link. Harmony, darling, there you go. There's the link. Yes, Graven, you click, should. Click on that link and that will bring up all the pasta dishes in our, because um, we're quite like the pasta. Love pasta. Spaghetti. Love me, pasta. Spaghetti and meatballs. We've started having regularly again now, haven't we? Because it's such a good meal. <laughs> so Will and Chris are taking them proverbial. What they what they're doing? What Paul, they're... have you ever cooked with chickpeas? Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Flanny's Flanny's got you sussed. And we've got you sussed as well. <laughs> right, right, shall we wrap things up? Yeah. And get on with the rest of our day. Yeah, think about and it. And I'll get these pots done. There's not that much, actually. I've 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 and I've soaked everything so it's dead easy for you. I know. I know, bless you. Uh, so, right, guys, uh, give you a couple of minutes to say goodbyes as we say our goodbyes. So, um, tomorrow, uh, our allotment vlog will be up at 6pm uh, as normal. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be up earlier in the afternoon, but I like to go to for 6pm because you've got more chance of it being shared by YouTube then. And we are still, uh, to be honest with you, desperate for our subscribers to climb like some of the other youtubers out there because hmm. we want to get to the point where we can buy a little rundown van and start doing is it up as a camper van there's a lot we want to do we've got visions this. and plans we have we've got some big visions and plans. big visions and big plans um and we hope that you all continue to come along for the journey with yes. us um because it's massively appreciated and uh and I think it, it works both ways, doesn't it? We get an awful lot from you. And from what uh, many of you tell us, you get a lot from us. Uh, so we're all winners. We're all winners. We all uh, feel better about life in general. And that's a great thing. It is. Um, thank you, as always, to our uh, moderators, The Hermitage, Leanne and Kelly, who take care of shit for us while we're chatting away to you guys. Thank you to all of our channel members, guys, that help so much. Thank you to our patrons, that helps massively. Thank you for buying our merch, that really helps. But thank you for just watching, liking, subscribing and clicking that little notification bell because that's the shit that YouTube pays attention to. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. 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 
everything that you just said. It's been a pleasure, as always, to sit in our kitchen on this rainy Sunday afternoon here in England and, uh, and make lovely, lovely baking goods. Hi, Jessica. Lots of love to you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You can always go back and watch uh, yeah. From Star. We've done some belting cupcakes, Ooh. peanut butter, coconut, chocolate spread and blueberry. <laughs> Gorgeous. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, like he just said, there. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Love you. Love you. Love you. Mwah. We'll see you again very soon. Uh, until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.